Hi everyone and welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a look, uh, basically show you how to do that beautiful glowing skin. Um, I've always got dark circles under my eyes and my two children never let me sleep. So basically to all you mothers out there, if you just wanna look amazing, feel good about yourself, but look like you're not wearing much makeup. It's a big trend as well. Okay, so again, the main thing for this look is your skincare. It's really important that you have a beauty routine, that you're always looking after your skin, that you're exfoliating, that kind of thing, so that your skin is already gonna be looking amazing before you start. So um, first, I'm going to use this Prep and Prime MAC Natural Radiance Base Lumiere. It's gonna give you a little bit of a glow. So I'm gonna pop a little bit onto the back of my hands. I'm just gonna work it into the skin. This is also quite nice if you don't have a huge amount of time in the morning, um, but you just want to perfect that skin. Then I'm going to go in um, with a little bit of the Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer. And just kind of work it into key areas where you want that highlight to be on the skin. Now for this look, you really want to go for something quite sheer. Um, you can use a tint of moisturiser if you want, but if you want something with a little bit more coverage, um, then these are really great. They're the MAC uh, Face and Body Foundation. You can also use them all over your body as well. If you're really pale and you need to cheat that healthy glow before summer starts. So I'm going to mix, this is C4 and C6. Because I have got a bit of a tan, and I'm just going to mix these colours in. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and then I'm going to push it. I'm going to push this into the skin so that really build that coverage. Now if you really want an even more luminous glow then you can mix a little bit of the Match Dro Cream in as well. So I'm just going to mix that in and just work it kind of extra into the cheek glow. Okay, so now we want to go in um, under the eyes. I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. And you want your application to be really feather light. And I'm just going to give a wash of foundation onto my lids. I'm not going to focus really on much eye makeup on my eyelids because this is really just about that healthy glowing skin. You always want to have a little bit of something. So you want a little bit something on the eyes. I'm going to use for my Naked palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to go with the shade Buck. So with my flat brush, and then just push it up to the crease, just blend it in. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the brows. I'm going to use a gel, so I just want to keep it really, really natural. Mac does it, and Catrice actually, which is a great budget brand, also does this as well if you don't want to spend a lot of money. So you just want to brush it through just really gently, we're just keeping it really natural. And the great thing about the gels is that it keeps the hairs in place, so you don't have to worry about that. Then we're going to add mascara, because you always need mascara. And I'm using the Lancome uh, Hypnose Doll Eyes. Just want to get into the root of the lashes and really wiggle. Just open those eyes up. So once you've done that, we want more glow on the face. So I'm going to use a series of highlighting products. Great products actually are the MAC Mineralize. They come in all these kind of different shades, the skin finish, this amazing shimmer. Um, so these are great buy. So I'm going to go in with the pink porcelain, which is that one. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to work it to the top of the cheekbone. The makeup is basically about layering and building on top and on top. So you do it before you put your foundation on, after you put the foundation. So that really, that highlighting comes through. Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, contouring powder. So this is from the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow, so I'm going to use that. 
Um, and I'm going to take this contour brush. This is great, this kind of shape brush, because then it just really gets in there and you work it down. Take the product, work the excess off. And just start building. If you can get the skin right, and the contouring and highlighting, and everything else will fall into place, and it will just look amazing. And then the jewel bow, and then a little bit down into the neckline. And then I'm going to go with this mineralized skin finish. This is in Lost, just for a little bit of cheek and then up into the cheekbone. I'm going to take this brush. You can see it's a really amazing pink shimmer. And then just work it from the cheek up. So this look is, you know, it's a natural look. So we are going to go with a gloss. I think that's just a nice way to finish it off and it kind of goes with that whole feel of that glowing skin. So this is one of the Stiller um, lip glosses. Amazing. So just see it's like a really pretty pink and it's also on trend. So we always want to be on trend. And then just take with your fingers just for that pretty, like kind of almost stained effect. So now we're looking all fabulous and glowing and dewy. If you don't want to do the step, you don't have to, if you look quite like that look. And a lot of time I actually just go with my foundation and I don't powder. But if you have oily skin, then by all means, finish the look off with the powder. It's the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Translucent Finishing Powder. And then just with a large brush, I'm just going to take the excess, tap it onto the lid. And then just work it into the skin. And there we go, that's our finished, healthy, glowing, beautiful look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.